How do core needle and excisional biopsies help with DCIS? Imagine trying to solve a mystery in the breast tissue. Doctors use special tools called biopsies to gather clues about what's going on inside. When it comes to ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, these tools are essential. DCIS is a non-invasive breast condition where abnormal cells are confined within the milk ducts. Detecting it early helps prevent it from becoming invasive cancer. A core needle biopsy is like taking a small sample of tissue with a thin needle. It's minimally invasive, usually done in a clinic, and involves numbing the area first. The doctor inserts the needle through the skin into the suspicious area and removes a few small tissue cores. These samples are then examined under a microscope to see if cancer cells are present and to understand how aggressive the cells might be. This method helps identify if DCIS is there and provides initial information about the tumor's features, such as its size and grade. But because only a small part of the lesion is sampled, sometimes it can miss invasive cancer that might be hiding nearby. Studies show that core needle biopsies diagnose malignancy in about 65% of DCIS cases, but they can underestimate the presence of invasion in up to 30% of cases. Larger needles and taking more samples can improve accuracy, but they don't completely eliminate the chance of missing invasive parts. That's where excisional biopsy comes in. Think of it as removing the entire puzzle piece or even the whole puzzle to see the full picture. This procedure involves surgically removing the entire lesion or a larger tissue section. It provides a more complete view of the abnormal area, confirming whether it is just DCIS or if invasive cancer has developed. Because core needle biopsies can sometimes underestimate invasion, doctors often recommend an excisional biopsy if the initial results are suspicious or atypical. This step is crucial for planning treatment, as finding invasive cancer might mean more extensive surgery or additional procedures like lymph node evaluation. Excisional biopsy helps ensure nothing is missed and guides doctors to choose the best course of action. In summary, core needle biopsy is a valuable first step to detect DCIS and gather initial details. However, because it samples only part of the tissue, it might not tell the whole story. Excisional biopsy provides a more complete assessment, confirming the diagnosis and ruling out invasion. Together, these procedures help doctors make accurate diagnoses and develop personalized treatment plans. Always remember, if you or someone you know is facing this, consulting a healthcare professional is essential for the most appropriate care.